does help on the recording side when I pull those recordings. We can actually hear one dispatcher versus the whole group. That's very important. So the other thing about this center, it's an interoperability center, which we've been pushing for probably a good 10 years. And the reason for that is a lot of small agencies can't afford to build a backup center, but we all need to work together as a team throughout the state of Indiana. So somebody like Elkhart City can come here and dis dispatch as well, as, long with, as well as Fulton County. There's four counties currently that are surrounding that we both have the same radio system and a couple of us have the same CAD system. So if they come here, this will be their side. They have their own whiteboard, but our dispatchers can help them as well. And vice versa, we can go to their centers and that's all about interoperability. Um, the basic needs of mutual aids for PSAP centers and, and that's the way the world's going. There's, there's just no way around it. Um, it's hard to get a dispatch center um, up and running. It's hard to maintain that staff. And quite frankly, um, the mental health preparedness is hard to keep uh, focused and determine what avenues we go to once we uh, hear those 911 calls. Uh, there is a project 988 and 911 uh, that we've been working together. We pulled some tapes and that was on last week's conversation. Um, so any questions about interoperability, I'll, I can answer those on a side note or give you a press release and go more in depth on that. But uh, this is our 911 center. And now instead of toggling back and forth uh, throughout the whole process of a 911 call or a regular call, there is a screen for every situation. Uh, believe it or not, we do have one more screen that will be hidden here, but we do texting to 911. Uh, rapid SOS and multiple different functions to get that resource to you. And a long time ago, when Jeff, Jeff Schemmer here and myself are go back a long time, our screen, we had one screen and one printer that was like this. So uh, we have advanced in te technology greatly. Our system to tone out folks was probably this large, right Jeff? Yes. So uh, we've come a long ways and um, the stress is unreal, but once you save a life, it makes everything go away and you come back the next day uh, pumped, so, or the next hour, actually. So, <laughs> anyway, um, what else can I answer for you? Everything, um, I will tell you, raises and lowers by touch. Um, each station has their own heating and cooling. The cooling, because I had to stay with budget, we don't have air conditioning here, but they have fans, but the room is temperature controlled and um, they can, you see the lights here on the back? They can change those to whatever color that they see fit. They cannot use yellow. Yellow means that we're on the phone or the radio. So when the officers come in here or somebody like yourself and we're doing a tour and that is yellow, um, that means quiet, so. Hey Gail, have you had any other centers come up to tour your center to look at the equipment? Multiple. I think we've had a total of 10 centers. Some of those have the same radio system that we do, that we currently have. So um, it's forward thinking. Um, this is one of my major projects here in Fulton County and um, for everybody, actually for the whole state of Indiana because we all can use it. We really all can use it. So that's fantastic to me. This is not my center. This is, this is 911. I, I mean, I love the community I serve along with my commissioners. Um, I'm not saying they give me everything I want, but I, uh, I uh, work. Yeah. But I work very hard, and I do work over my hourly limits. They do tell me to go home at sometimes, but I do love the community I serve. So. Um, and this is set up for the future and for future 911 directors to even enhance on this project. So, and we have a 300 foot tower out there that we can rent space from. And um, you'll see my team float around here that's in digital, that's ERS, Motorola, Comcast. Uh, you'll see some state reps, Daniel Elliott's here, um, IPSC Communications and Motorola. But my team, my plan, and I will say that, um, but they are fabulous people, and that's who built this center. 
I will tell you, we constructed the jail. This was just a shell. We had it shelled in by the construction company. We told Gail, this is your center. You design it, you run it. She took off, and this is what she done, and it's absolutely. Yes. So um, Evans Consoles is the one that has um, designed, helped me design this and put this together. Um, they support the Denise Amber Lee Foundation. If you have a chance, you need to look at the Denise Amber Lee Foundation. Um, they educate commissioners and public like yourself the importance and needs of uh, certification in dispatch and continuing ed. Um, it's a tragedy um, that happened and Evans does support that. So you'll be happy to know since they built this, they put that money back into the 911 system itself. Uh, with training dispatchers and pushing that information and, and that cause and need for continuing ed. Any other? I'm trying to do it fast, so <laughs> I'm probably missing something somewhere. I think it's amazing. You did a great job. Thank yeah. you. It's beautiful. Thank you. All right. Well, I want to thank everybody, especially my commissioners and my family that I've been very grouchy, <laughs> and my staff and everybody else. Um, a few years now, a couple of years, but I want to thank everybody in the push and the support that they've given me and to my community. So. Okay. You look closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look closer to the red. Yeah. There you go. Hey.